so welcome back so in this video we are going to see how we can send transactions to the blockchain network uh, uh, for different transaction types like 0 or 2 this EIP 1559 is a new transaction model and this legacy transaction this is type 0 and EIP 1559 it's uh, type 2 transaction so basically in the legacy transaction we just have like one gas fee which is required to execute the function and the user pays it uh, to the miner to put the transaction in the blockchain network however in EIP 1559 Ethereum has proposed a new transaction model where the gas cost is divided into two fee the base fee and priority fee the base fee is actually uh, the amount of gas required to perform some computation in the blockchain network which is actually a gas fee and this fee is burned at the time of transaction and then there is a priority fee this is actually the tip a user give, gives to the miner to put the transaction as early as possible in the block. So basically consider it like an Uber application. If you give more tip to the driver, your request uh, is more likely to be accepted sooner because you are paying more. So it's same like uh, in EIP1559 transaction. So uh, let's start coding. Actually, I have already created um, this project. We have this hard hat configuration and I have uh, already uh, taken this greeting contract uh, online. And we are, since uh, writing the contract is not the main thing here. So I have just like taken this contract and the main thing here is to uh, write the code to send the transaction to the blockchain network and <clears throat> Uh, how we can send for for legacy and for uh, EIP 1559 so basically let's start coding so what we can do is let's start so uh, first start with const ethers is equals to require ethers so we are going to use require dot env dot config and uh, in our environmental environment variable file we have api url dot api url const private key equals to process dot env dot private key and then finally we have this contract I have already deployed the contract and this is the contract address so we are just going to copy and paste it const uh, contract address is equals to process.env dot contract address and then we are going to create provider new ethers dot providers dot we are going to use json rpc provider and we are going to pass api url and then we are going to create signer it's the same old repetitive task which we have to write uh, in order to make it ready to communicate with the blockchain network and then we are going to create um, the signer and we are going to pass the private key and the provider and then we are going to uh, retrieve the ABI and how we can do this we can just uh, artifacts slash contract slash greeting slash greeting dot json so we have this ABI here and then we can create a contract instance is equals to new ethers dot contract we are going to pass contract address ABI and signer okay so everything is okay so let's do this so everything is ready here let's we we can create an async function uh, transaction and we are going to write first of all we need to give this function estimated gas limit await contract instance dot estimate gas dot 
we have this function set greeting okay and um, the input is hello and we can create a transaction which is unsigned and what we can do is we can we can initiate a transaction using this uh, popular transaction method dot set greeting and we can put the same string here so basically this is the estimate gas limit it is going to estimate the gas for this function call in the blockchain network and this is the transaction we have uh, initiated a transaction uh, set greeting now we are going to assign the transaction parameters first of all in order to send eip 1559 transaction uh, we need to uh, define the type as to then we are going to put chain id 737 73799 this is volta chain id uh, uh, <clears throat> tx unsigned dot gas limit is equals to this is the estimated gas limit which we have calculated earlier then there is there is a, actually uh, uh, a method let fee data we are going to fetch it for the blockchain network get fee data so but basically it is going to give us two things transaction unsigned uh, dot max priority fee per gas is equals to fee data and we are going to copy the same thing so basically this is max priority fee i told you that this priority fee is actually a tip you are giving to the miner to put your transaction earlier in the blockchain so what is the maximum uh, priority fee you want to give and then this is uh, a max fee per gas okay and it's exactly same the oh sorry how much uh, maximum gas fee you want to give uh, so basically uh, what we have done and finally you have to put let nonce is equals to await provider dot get transaction count of signer dot address so basically this nonce is uh, used in ethereum uh, um, like uh, in ethereum uh, network because ethereum network is an account based model so basically this nonce tells that uh, what is the current state of this account like how many transaction it has sent and it increases with uh, when a user sends the transaction so basically we are getting the latest nonce in order to avoid replay or cyber attack and uh, what we can do is we can assign dot nonce is equals to nonce and once uh, now we have assigned everything so we are going to sign this transaction dot no transaction let's say we are going to call it sign await signer dot sign transaction and we are going to pass tx unsigned so once it is signed we can send this transaction provider dot send transaction of tx signed so we have submitted and we can say const receipt is equals to await submitted transaction dot wait we are going to wait till it's uh, added in the blockchain and what we can do is receipt dot status is equals to zero if the status is zero we can say console dot log the transaction is failed else 
console dot log oh dot log the transaction is approved with transaction hash submitted tx dot hash and finally we can run tx function because this is our function so let's run this function node index dot js private key is not defined okay 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 so we made a mistake here let's do this again so i think our transaction is being sent so let's okay so this is the transaction hash i have copied it and let's say i'm going to open it okay so let's go to volta explorer and let's see our transaction here okay so this is our transaction so you see this transaction type is 2 the max priority gas is 1.5 GUI and the tip is this and the transaction burnt fee or the base fee is this so basically this is a type 2 transaction which we have sent so uh, now let's write the code for legacy transaction let's copy everything from here everything is same here the, this is same here we are going to remove transaction dot type and we are going to remove these two two things we are going to add one more thing uh, here uh, yeah so the one more thing which we are going to uh, put here is uh, uh, yeah so gas price so instead of uh, putting we can say transaction unsigned dot gas price is equals to await provider dot get gas price so basically this is the gas price uh, you can consider ethereum network as um, let's say uber if there are a lot of customers and load uh, less drivers then the, the then the price of the drive is higher so it's same so basically this gas price actually tells that if the network is congested or not if it's congested the gas price will be high otherwise the gas price will be low so now our transaction is submitted uh, our, our transaction is created and uh, we have put everything here so let's let's try to run this function node index legacy.js i'm going to upload this code uh, on github after this uh, video so you can find this course uh, this code later so let's copy this and let's go here and search yeah so basically if you see this transaction type is zero this is a legacy transaction 17 18 seconds ago and this is the gas limit and this is the gas used by transaction and this is the nonce so if you compare it with the previous transaction this is the type 2 transaction it has different priority uh, different prior priority fee and the base fee so basically uh, um, this is how you are going to send uh, uh, the EIP 1559 transaction and a legacy transaction through uh, back end you can also send it through front end but uh, right uh, this video was uh, just created how you can send it through back end because I, I have written this code in node.js but you can implement the same functionality in your express or in next.js uh, back end server and you can send the transactions or uh, you can put your own uh, gas price or gas limit or um, the tip you can uh, you want to send to the miner so basically you can control all these things instead of just like a transaction dot send function you can actually create these parameters of the transactions and then you can sign it and then you can send it so that's all for this video so thank you very much for watching